Okay, uh, welcome uh, and thank you for joining me in this lightning talk here in the Open Source Summit in, in Bilbao. My name is uh, Marco González Hierro and, I'm, and I am the head of ICT in Ikerland. In these five minutes, I'm going to explain how we are using AI-enabled uh, edge to cloud continuum continu uh, technologies, both in industry and research. In Ikerland, we are a multi-sectorial uh, research center, which is focused in taking the, the knowledge from research to the industry. So how to apply all the, all the technologies that we are researching uh, in, in some projects to the real world. In my, in my department, we are focusing a lot of this research in how to, uh, how to take the artificial intelligence that is making a revolution in, in the industry right now. A lot of industries are taking uh, AI algorithms and integrating them in their own products and services in order to increase the, the competitiveness and the, and the value adding. And how to relationate that with edge to cloud continuum technologies. That's it, how to, to take advantage of the strong points that the edge to cloud offers us. For example, the increased privacy and also the reduction of latencies, which is very important in the industrial use cases, especially when we are talking about uh, critical, uh, critical industries. With other ingredients that we want to put, because when we want to, to take these AI models from the research to the real world, we have to, to put a bit more ingredients like MLOps in order to have all the life cycle of the, of the AI managed. Also collaborative, uh, collaborative uh, AI in order to take uh, advantage of all these edge computing resources that we have already deployed uh, in the industry. And also data spaces, which is a very important topic and, and focusing how to, to share data between different partners inside the inside shared data space, which is a, a trending topic right now in the, in the industry. How we are doing that? Uh, we are using open source technologies. We are using open source components and building, as building blocks. And then we are developing uh, several custom, customization for our clients as glue to, 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 to offer our clients what, what they need. Open source is very important for, for us because it allows us uh, to not reinvent the wheel, to, to offer uh, interoperability out of the box, and also vendor neutrality, which is very important right now in, in, in European industry. First, I am going to present you uh, one industrial use case that we have implemented in, in the real world, and, and, and then I, I, I will explain you how we are shaping the future in a, in a European research project. Uh, Mondragon Assembly is uh, one international reference uh, for automa automatization and assembly solutions that have, have clients all over the world and have uh, solutions uh, installed in, in a lot of industrial clients, um, automotive, uh, space, etc. With uh, Mondragon Assembly, we developed in the past several uh, AI solutions uh, related to predictive maintenance, defect detection, uh, image, image, image and video recognition, recognition etc. And we want to take these uh, AI models, as I, as I said before, from the, from the research to the real, real world. So when you want to, to implement this, these models in, in some industries, you have to, to you, some, prior, some problems arise. For example, how, to, how you can train a, a big model, a common model that takes uh, all the information from, from multiple edge locations, without sending real, the, the actual data to the cloud. Because here we have some problems with the data sovereignty, with uh, uh, when and when you can't send data to the cloud. So for this, we uh, use federated learning, which is, it is a decentralized ML approach, where all the data, all the models are trained locally in the edge without sending data to the cloud. But with this algorithm, uh, we can build a model, a, local, a global model in the, in, in the cloud that has all the knowledge of the local edge nodes, but without sending data to the, to the cloud. So always the data stays in the factory. This is very, very interesting uh, for clients, for industries that, uh, that deploy different uh, solutions in different clients. So the, the data belongs to the client, doesn't go outside of the, of the factory, we can say, but we can build a common model in the cloud that has all the knowledge of all the edge locations. How we are doing this? With several open source components, such as Flower, MLflow, etc. But as I said before, it's very important to have a platform that allows us to, to manage all the life cycle of the AA models. That is, that is uh, to, to manage the training of the models, 
to manage how to do that federated learning and has the, had that common model in the cloud, how to deploy these models to the edge to locations to, to update these, uh, these models, but also uh, it's very important to detect when the model uh, is not being accurate and we have to force a retraining, which is uh, we are doing that with a concept called uh, concept drift. And we have this all integrated in a platform that can be integrated with the client, so the client can handle all these situations to, to be able to, to deploy these models to the real world and to the real industries. And we are using a lot of open source components, then we are deploying this glue to integrate all them, but, uh, but it's very important to have this platform to be able to, to handle real, real world uh, situations. And we, how we are shaping the future? Uh, in the Horizon Europe research uh, uh, project, uh, SovereignEdge.Cognit, we are building a cognitive ser serverless framework for the cloud to edge continuum. What the, this means? We are building a fully uh, European open source uh, function as a service uh, framework. What we are trying to do? We are trying to empower the IoT and edge devices. Normally, in a function as a service framework, you have the cloud that you have all the functions there and you can choose where to deploy the several tasks. But in this, in this, uh, in this framework, we want to do more or less the opposite. That, that's it, that the IoT device or the edge device can choose whether or not to uh, offload the, uh, some task to the edge to cloud continuum. That is, for example, imagine we have uh, some drone which is low on battery and instead of uh, performing the image detection locally in, in, the, in the drone, he can decide, please, Edge to Cloud Continuum, help me and do this for me. So the, the IoT device is smart enough to ask for the Edge to Cloud Continuum for resources in order to upload tasks to them. So we are, we, we are doing a, a new framework that offers more uh, flexibility and, and allows us to introduce more uh, smart IoT devices that allows us to uh, offload uh, tasks to the to Edge to Cloud Continuum easily. Here we are working with uh, several uh, research centers like RISE, universities, Asumea, also a lot of um, uh, open source uh, companies like Open Nebula, SUSE, etc. And we are using uh, the, the components that you can see on the right to build this, but we are also um, deploying on all of our software as, as open source. So with this, let's continue building and sharing all that uh, uh, all that source that we are making as, uh, as open source to continue developing that to cloud continuum. So that's it. I don't know if you have any question. Okay. Uh, as I said before, normally with federated learning, you have multiple, multiple clients that they are training the, the models locally. So in this glue that we, are, uh, that we are developing, we have to ensure that all the data has quality what part, and, we are, and it's trustful. So depending on the client, we have, we have multiple, um, multiple ways to trust the data, but that is a, a problem, of course. But normally we are using that with uh, data signatures for the, for, the, um, for the data that is sending. But of course, you have to, to trust your data in order to, to, to enable this kind of algorithms. But because all the edge allocations are, um, are controlled by the same company that is making the federated learning, you can trust it. Yes, yes. It's one organization that has the cloud and the edge devices, but the edge devices are located in other clients. So that, that's because that's where the data sovereignty has a problem, but the devices are from the same company. So you can trust your devices. Okay. Uh, for that, I, uh, as I explained, we are using Flower as a, as a library. Uh, if you want to, to have more information about the, the actual algorithms, I can, I can be in contact with you and, and talk with our uh, federated learning engineers because uh, I, I can explain more now. Yeah. 
the, yes, the, the first model, we have a couple of, of models that we are doing with early learning. One is uh, defect detection in, in image recognition. We have cameras in the edge looking uh, like x-rays, looking to different metals, and we can detect defects like uh, when the metal is breaking or some tension in the metal with images. And also, uh, the first uh, use case that we implemented is uh, with, uh, we have time series of the different uh, data that is collecting the, mach the machines. In this case, it's uh, like rolling machines. And uh, we have the, all the access information of that, uh, of, of, of that machines, and we can train different models with that. Yep. Okay, yeah, uh, we are Ekerland, we belong to the Mondragon Corporation, which is one of the biggest industrial groups here in, in Spain. We're more with uh, more than 200 uh, cooperatives inside it. And yes, uh, for one part, this, this platform can be used for different, for different use cases. But also we are planning to implement some uh, shared data space where all the companies that want to be part of the, that data space can share information, data, but also they can share uh, models. Also, AI models can be shared in, the, in this data space, which we have implemented here. As you can see in the, in the photo, we have an open source connector based on the Fraunhofer connector, connector. And with that, we can share both data with all, all, the, all that companies, but also the models. Because some models can be uh, used in other use cases uh, with some modifications, but uh, both the data and the models can be integrated in the, in the shared data space, yes. Okay, so thank you so much.